Hello, friends. My name is Fred. <laughs> Today we're gonna sit down and not lie. I said that last time. Yeah, fuck it. This show sucks. It is honestly probably the worst thing that I've seen on TV in a very, very long time. I've decided to finally share the bone chilling events that drove me to assemble the greatest team of spooky mystery solvers ever. I feel like they tried to present Velma as if she's this character who's, you know, kind of out of the box and a bit different. I always took pride in not fitting the mold. <laughs> <laughs> One minute she's whacking a girl with a broom, the next minute she's hallucinating and you're feeling really bad for her. It's incredibly confusing storytelling. I have no idea how to feel for this girl. The story starts off, like all great series do, in a high school girl's locker room. And what are they doing? They're taking showers together. How do they come up with this stuff? They definitely overdo it on the sex at first. See, now if this was a show, it'd be super hot if you two kissed. Sex, drugs, nudity are the pillars that this show is built on. They will not stray from those pillars. I feel like they're appealing to a particular audience of Rule 34 subscribers, but I don't want to speculate too hard on that. If this was a show, you'd be killed off for being horny. Yeah, everybody in the show is just incredibly horny. It's absurd how horny everybody is. In okay, so the way that the plot goes, uh, Velma is essentially accused of the murder of that girl that's way too grotesque to actually show. Brenda? She probably didn't do it, I don't know, maybe, possibly. She's gotta go down to the police station, give a statement. You know what, we're done here, peace. <laughs> but the police station is where they introduce my personal favorite character in the entire series. The character is Daphne's mom, one of two police officers in this town, and the gym coach, triple threat. Unfortunately, we're not done here, Velma. You're a suspect in Brenda's murder. She's voiced by Wanda Sykes, and honestly, Wanda Sykes is a treasure. I love Wanda Sykes. I could always get more Wanda Sykes. She should have her own series. She really deserves her own series, honestly. If somebody wanted to give Wanda Sykes a series, I would totally watch that. Okay, so as the story goes... Oh no, I already said that. Velma's mom isn't around, because apparently she went missing... Going out to buy a gift on Christmas when Velma was young, she was trying to get her a Christmas present for the next day. Something happened to her. She foul play, she went missing. I don't know. I felt so guilty that it was my mystery solving that had caused her to go missing. I started having horrifying hallucinations. You know, you really start to feel for this character. But wait, they'll throw half of that out the window in a minute. Who killed Brenda? Velma. I do like the little hallucination scenes. I think they're kind of fun. I think they're well animated to an extent, at least better than the rest of the show. Norville? What the hell? So Northville plays the character who's supposed to be Shaggy, but he's nothing like Shaggy. He's wearing the same clothes, but that's about it. Northville is kind of getting cucked by Velma quite a bit. Northville just comes off as such a simp. Will I sell you a kidney to get the $500 I need to make Velma date me? I mean, I'd be a fool not to at this point, right? You feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, it's... Dude, come on. But I had to find you because I still don't know if you listen to my VMs voicemails. Though I left you some other VMs voicemails. I know what VMs are! And he's pretty annoying, too, I will say that. He's very repetitive. He's nothing like Shaggy at all. Honestly, he's not a replacement for Shaggy. I hate that they took Shaggy out of this series. That's one of my least favorite aspects about this series. It'd be nice to have one character that offers a little bit of comedic relief. Right, so Norville thinks that he knows who killed Brenda, and she's gonna help try to clear Velma's name. We'll talk a little bit about the plot, because the plot is terrible. That's honestly one of my least favorite parts about this series. I think it has something to do with drugs, which I hate. How the fuck did I forget to mention that? Northville doesn't do drugs. If I ever even think about getting into 420, 420 culture, or especially 420 related humor, kill me. Northville is nothing like Shag. It's hard. I feel like I'd like Northville more if he didn't take Shaggy's place if he wasn't supposed to be the replacement. A date? You wish. <laughs> a date? What? <laughs> it's so cringe. It's so hard to watch. Norville! Hey, I was rethinking our friendship this morning, and maybe it's healthier. No time! I... Drive me to Fred's house! I'll get my windbreaker. God, I hate so much that Northville doesn't do drugs. Why the fuck would they include that? Oh, God. Mom wasn't taken. She left because she hated us. At this point, Velma knows nothing bad happened to her mom. Her mom left because of choice. 
Thelma goes through like nine different personality changes throughout this whole thing. And honestly, it's just, you'd figure she was the one who'd be like the most stable growing up. Why doesn't this take place in the 70s? This should have been a 70s timepiece. I feel like they really missed an opportunity by not having it take place in the 70s. So we're about to get into the Fred character. Now, Fred, I think they fucked up the most out of any character. Not hairless, Velma. I haven't finished going through puberty yet. I'm a late bloomer. But father says if people know, they'll laugh. I mean, he is horrible. He is a sociopath. He's dependent on his father's money, completely dependent on his father's money. His whole life, Fred has never had to lift a finger to do anything. Uh, he can't even do basic things for himself. Doesn't even make sense. I'm just gonna do to you what I did to Brenda. <gasps> See, he just comes off as a sociopath. You have, like, no empathy for Fred the entire time. You sort of want him to go away for this crime. Hey, am I on a hunger strike? Where the hell are my pancakes? Right, okay, so now people think Fred killed this girl instead of Velma. The lawyer who's going to represent Fred in this trial is going to be Velma's uh, dad. Finally, only one lawyer has agreed to represent Fred Jones, Vermin's own father, Amon Dinkley. What? Because, right, they only got two cops in this town. They only got one lawyer or something. Who? Who fucking knows? You know nothing about this town. They give you no context with this thing. I feel the only way to prove Fred's innocence is to play up the fact that he's a late bloomer. <gasps> Hello, friends. My name is Fred. What's yours? Aww. Yeah, see, they just take shits all over Fred the entire time. I don't even know why they do this. They just make him seem like such a wimp. You didn't mention Fred had a tiny dong. Oh, yeah. Real baby carrot. So, Velma, what brings you to Casa del Norville Rogers, Blythe Rogers, and me, his father, Lamont Rogers? Right, so that's Shaggy's father. I'm sorry, not Shaggy. Northville's father. That's Northville's father. Ah, uh, fuck, I forgot what his name was. Lamont Rogers. He's actually okay. He's, again, no replacement for Shaggy. I guess they just wanted somebody that looked like him in the series. Here for a Rogering, as we might say? Daphne, why would you deal drugs? You're beautiful and popular. Right, so Daphne's parents are the police. So if somehow she has access to old cold case files and she's going to offer Velma a deal where Velma comes and sells drugs with her and Daphne will give Velma the evidence on her mother's case. This doesn't make me a bad girl. Why did she say it like that? What are we selling? Oh, it's just the usual. Zoinks, jeepers, mystery machine, and of course, ga 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 ganja Oh, I get it. They couldn't say Scooby Snacks. That's kind of funny. You want your mom's cold case file, right? Daphne's like completely holding this whole cold case file over Velma's head. And, you know, Velma's got to help out. I guess she's not doing a great job selling these drugs or something. Who knows? I guess I should know because I watched it. And I do know because I watched it. Here's where things get interesting. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was just wiping some garbage slime off your cheek. If it wasn't so weird thinking about these characters driving around in a orgy van this entire time, you would actually be kind of cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Velma is just in a love triangle with five points. It's a love hexagon, and she's getting pulled in every which way. The heat of a thousand suns passing between us? What? Time both infinite and finite. Velma and Daphne kiss, and this becomes an issue because neither one can admit that they have feelings for each other. Before rolling around on each other, I thought maybe we should talk about our, uh, kiss? I don't like you like that. I like Fred. Because I don't like you like that either. See what I mean? She's getting pulled in all kinds of different directions here. I'm so glad we resolved all our issues before we had to punch each other. Me too. They didn't. And... Fight to see who's less vulnerable. Ah! But she obviously likes this girl. Why not? Why not just like uh, be happy with it? Just admit that. Take uh, be good with Daphne. Daphne's not supposed to be hot as fuck. She's a cartoon, but hey. Right? Rule thirty-four. Right. So they've got this built-up tension for each other, and they're about to take it out on each other in some kind of a fight. For some reason, because they couldn't come up with a better plot point, the writers decided that there should be some kind of a... Tomorrow, you'll be competing in the all-Crystal Cove women's self-defense class tournament. Women's fighting tournament going on. The next day, of course. So, uh, Velma and Daphne are gonna have to fight each other again for real. Now, who's ready for some bone-crushing empowerment? <laughs> I just like that we get to see Wanda Sykes again. I'm so psyched for Wanda Sykes. What you felt was... Wait! That's my journal! Yeah, and I'm about to perform the audiobook. 
Wait, voice isn't everything, in it? Velma has Daphne's journal and she's gonna read it and expose her for being vulnerable and that's how she, Velma plans on winning this tournament. So you all think Daphne is the perfect, beautiful girl next door, right? Well, it's a lie. But obviously, you know, nobody's gonna be cool with that. Why would anybody be cool with that? This takes place in 2022, right? So why would she do this? Why would she think that this is a good idea? She's supposed to be smart. According to her own journal, Daphne is so messed up that she has a daily session with our school guidance counselor, Lamont, to discuss her issues. Why didn't they just make her a fun nerd? I feel like she would have been much better as a fun nerd. I feel like this is Mindy Kaley's fault somehow. Fuck Mindy Kaley. Well, do you like me? You know I do. But I'm also, kill me, super attracted to Fred. Both obviously got feelings for each other, but they're not gonna talk about that. Why would they talk about that? Friends hug, boobs touch, no crotch. Boobs touch, no crotch. Right, so the whole mystery machine thing is pretty much just a huge sex triangle and they're all just having massive orgies, which I'm okay with. Let's move on. Why couldn't they have just done good storytelling? Why do they have to use sex to get people interested in this. She gave me my mom's cold kiss file, and guess what? The last place her cell phone pinged was Fred's house. Wait, Fred? That's huge! Anyway, now they want to go figure out what Fred's connection to uh, Velma's mother's disappearance is, so I... That's gonna come up in a little bit, I guess. Velma is tasked with putting together a list of all the hot girls who might get murdered. If you don't do it, a bunch of other girls will be murdered, of course, and with them, Crystal Cove's tourism-based economy. But she doesn't really know how to do it because she's too attracted to Daphne at the moment and Fred and who knows. I can't do it. Next to you, every other girl looks like a potato in a dress to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, nah, it's more of the same shit. I think it all takes place in one day. So same shit, same day. Aww. Now, anything else I could do for you? Yeah, maybe read this. The Feminine Mystique. No way, I love Mystique. Velma gives Fred this book called The Feminine Mystique, and then Fred becomes interested in women who are like more self-reserved and smarter and have like, you know, self-confidence and that type of thing. So naturally he becomes attracted to Velma. <laughs> Oh. My. God. That book you gave me opened my eyes to your inner beauty. I also prefer inner beauty. And yes, up until right now, I found you irresistible. But now I just find you gross. Inner beauty, but she's going for the hottest chick in school, too. So, inner beauty. Yeah. Daphne is, like, fucking ugly on the inside. All right, so anyway, that was taking a look at uh, the HBO show Velma. I think it's pretty bad. Uh, I think the characters are really bad. I think the storyline is just awful. I think the animation is pretty cookie cutter, pretty bland. In my opinion, I think they ruined a bunch of beloved characters from our childhood. I don't know why they did that, but fuck it. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Goodbye.